was on America's Got Talent a couple years ago, and uh, thank you, thank you, yeah, no, oh no, no, you, now you're clapping too much, I lost in the second round to a juggler, uh, you never really get over that, but uh, I got on because of my hearing aids, of course, uh, they love that, if you have a disability, oh my god, they eat that shit up, oh man. They were like, hearing aids, get in here. And I was like, yeah, I do comedy too. And they were like, yeah, just bring the hearing aids. We'll figure it out. Uh, they asked me to cry. Like, they explicitly asked me during the interview. They were like, you know, during the on-camera interview, if you could cry, that would really help us out. And I was like, I'm not going to cry. I'm happy. Life's great. And they said, uh, we'll see. Uh, <laughs> And the interview started, and they were like, so tell us about your sad, sad life with hearing aids. <laughs> and I said, uh, pardon? No, I'm just kidding. I didn't say... I, uh... No, I said, no, really, I can't stress this enough. I'm very happy. Awesome life. Very happy. And they said, uh, we're going we're gonna to go with the juggler. Uh... <laughs> He's got ten kids. He immigrated from Romania. He cries on command. This guy's got it going on, you know? I get it. They want the pity. If they have a disability, they want the pity. That's how they like to frame it. I don't do that, you know. I, I wear hearing aids, but I'll still bang your girl. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that, that's a pro-disability joke. We should all feel good about that one. We should all feel good. I would never actually say something like that. It's hard to be a bully when you have a disability, because you know people always have ammo to come back with. You know, I can't be like, hey, Daryl, that's a really ugly sweater. Daryl's just like, aren't you deaf? Yeah, you got me, Daryl. You got me. Hard of hearing, actually, but you got me. I love being married, man. It's been, uh, it's been a little over a year now, and uh, she's awesome. Like I said, we're thinking about maybe having kids soon. And she's, I mean, I'm the first guy with hearing aids she's ever been with. I think. I've never asked. Uh, I don't want to know. I'd be jealous if I found out I wasn't, you know. I'd be like, just tell me one thing. Was he deafer than me? <laughs> what kind of hearing aid did he wear? <laughs> With my luck, she'd be like, oh, he didn't wear hearing aids. He was full deaf, baby. <laughs> He misheard me in ways you can't even dream of. <laughs> <laughs> but she's got it good, though. I take my hearing aids out when we sleep. She can fart all night long. For real. That's huge. She lucked out. She gets a little carried away sometimes, you know. I'm like, you know I can still smell, right? Like, come on. Come on. You know my other senses are heightened. <laughs> when did you have Subway? <laughs> Let's make love. You're ovulating. Uh, that one was gross and romantic. You have to admit. Since I take my hearing aids out when we sleep, pillow talk is a lot different. You know, so when I take them out, like I'm deaf. There's no casual transition from talking into sleeping. When the hearing aids come out, talking time is over. Sleeping time has begun. <laughs> we even have a little ritual we do now where before I take them out, I'll make like a last call. <laughs> I'm like, hey baby, you got any final thoughts on the day? Or any closing remarks? I'm about to shut this shit down. 